Hello. Surely it cannot be stage time already. I have so much more to do, as you can clearly see. It's my very first DVD tonight. I'm a mixture of nerves and excitement, and I was practicing my lyrics there because we have so many new songs for you tonight, as well as some of the old classics. And I can hear some of the boys warming up. Oh, I'm gonna have to go and get ready. Give me two minutes, I promise, two minutes. I'll get these babies out, and I'll see you on stage. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> in my color TV I don't care if I lose my hair cause I'm living happily
Are you in good form tonight? Well, it's great to have every one of you here looking so well this evening. You scrub up well, don't you? And what a show we have for you this evening. And we hope to get you singing along to some of your favorite songs of mine from way back when things first began for me, right up to our most recent releases. And you never know, we might even throw in a few surprises for you. Aren't we good to you? But we want to get those voices nice and warmed up in a song that'll take many of you back a few years this time. The moon was bright, the night was clear, the breath came over the sea. And wandered forth with me. Oh, flower stands, the mountain side, and fragrance fill the bay. By far the sweetest flower there was the rose of Was the road 
Ladies and gentlemen, we want to hear you singing along and getting those hands slapping to our very first hit album in Ireland. We'd love to hear you singing along with this one. Why have you left the one you left me for? Has she heard that be that slamming door? Did she leave for good or just get bored? tonight. Are you ready? Why have you left the one you left me for? Has she heard like me that slamming door? Did you leave for good or just get bored? Why have you left the one you left me for? Why have you left the one you left me for? Has she heard Good. 
so much ladies and gentlemen well for those of you that don't already know I was born in Glasgow and I lived on a farm with my mum and dad and my older sister Celia and my brothers Joseph and Christopher who are both here and all of them are here tonight so it's great to have them with me this evening And I have very, very fond memories of those days growing up. And of course, with my mum being from Donegal and my dad being from Tyrone, <laughs> we were pretty much guaranteed to spend any summer holiday or indeed any holiday we could right here in Ireland. And this next song is a song that always reminds me of days back home. And in fact, the very last day when I left home driving out of our driveway with nothing but an old bass acoustic guitar, a bag full of clothes, and a world of dreams that I hoped would come true. And I remember driving out of the driveway and looking in the rear view mirror and seeing my mum and dad wave me off with a look of sheer relief <laughs> as they were delighted they'd finally get rid of me. No, I'm only joking. They had that look of sheer worry that only parents can have because they had no idea how things were going to turn out, but they've been incredibly supportive and that's exactly the thought that comes into my mind every time I sing this song. of just 18 years A penny and quarter would take to a letter And mama's goodbye in her ears She watched as her high school faded behind her In the house with the white picket fence Then she read the note that her mama had wrote Wrapped up with twins
Well, ladies and gentlemen, this next song I'm going to sing for you tonight was written by none other than the legend that is Dolly Parton. <laughs> and when I first heard this song in particular, I was completely blown away because it is musically incredible. And when I recorded a version of this song only a couple of years ago, I was not expecting it to be one of our most popular releases. We are asked to sing it all the time. And if truth be told, it's incredibly difficult to sing and also incredibly difficult to play. Isn't that right, boys and girls? <laughs> but tonight, we're going to take the bull by the horns and we're going to sing it for you. Climbing up the mountains, blue smoke winding around the bend. Blue smoke is the name of the heartbreak train that I am running in. I left alone on a road I'm leaving, and I won't be coming back. Blue smoke rolling, 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 rolling down the track. Pickety, 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 clack, just stay on track. Yes, yeah. 
these musicians incredible? Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's been known for many years that I have always loved singing and playing around on my acoustic guitar. But it's only within the last few years that I've began to dabble in songwriting. And this next song is a song that I wrote only a couple of years ago. And I still remember every single detail of the morning I wrote this one in particular. I wrote it about someone who sadly passed away and was very special to me. She was like a second mum when I first moved to Ireland and she treated me like her third daughter. And she really was a help to my mum and dad, knowing that someone was over here to look out for me when they weren't around. And we sadly lost Ibna two years ago. And I remember coming home from the hospital, sitting on the side of my bed, and I was overcome with tears. And I just decided to try and put pen to paper. And it was the first time that I ever really realized how much a lyric and a melody can mean to a songwriter. And for those of you that have lost someone in your lives, I hope you can relate to this one. As I sit here by my bedside, tears overflow my eyes. I think of you and times we had. I think of what we said. The days ahead still to unfold, a future still to be seen. If I knew then what I know now, you wouldn't be in my dreams. So many times we hear it said, hold tight to those that we don't want to forget. There comes a time for everyone. We go with God above, and memories are all we have left to love. Is my voice still clear from where you are? Don't tell me it's fading away. My heart beats sore because I know you tried so hard to stay. I'll run to you, I'll bid it to my home down here someday. So many times we hear it said, hold tight to those that we don't want to forget. There comes a time for everyone. We go.
Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, growing up in an Irish household, it's pretty much second nature to have country music on 24 hours a day, even if you're only awake for 12 of them. <laughs> At least that's the way it was in our house. And I grew up listening to the likes of Daniel O'Donnell, Dominic Kerwin, Hugo Duncan. But there were also the ladies of country music that were huge in those days. And indeed, they still are today. And ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to have two of the finest ladies of country music with us tonight. Please welcome Philomena Begley. And Susan McCann. Now to honor you ladies tonight, we thought that we'd sing some of the songs that everyone here and everyone worldwide made huge for you. We want to hear you singing along. Get those hands going, come on. She was an older splendor each night upon a rock. Her chariot is across the bus that stops right down the block. Now the old piano minstrel plays a tune she walks in. And the queen of a silver dollar's home again. She's the queen of the silver dollar. She builds a smoky kingdom. Except the original wine glass. And her bar stool is her throne. Now the jesters flock around. Trying to win a favor. To see which one will take the queen of the silver dollar home. Everybody. She's the queen of the silver dollar. She builds a smoke. Let's see you sing. 
Ties always up for anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that a waste of time? You may be one of many, but you'll never be the last in line. Hey, 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 I'm really glad you're here. Cause you're one of my favorite boyfriends. One of my favorite boyfriends. You're my favorite boyfriend. and singles this time.
Thank you so much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we had an idea a few weeks ago that we would ask some of you to send in any questions that you might like to ask me. So loads of you contacted us and sent in a pile of questions. And I have been given only a few of them, edited, of course, because there were some that we couldn't read out loud. <laughs> so the first question was sent in by someone on Facebook. And the question is, Lisa, if you were not in the country scene, what other job would you see yourself doing? Well, you might not think this, ladies and gentlemen, to look at them, but these boys on stage are extremely difficult to keep happy. <laughs> there are some troublemakers up there. Yeah, take a good look at them. The girls are okay, aren't we, girls? The girls are all okay. And sometimes I feel like I'm actually running a crash <laughs> rather than a band. So I think at this stage in my career, I'm more than qualified to run a nursery school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Question two. As a child, who were your heroes? Well, that one's easy for me because they're sitting right in front of me. My mum and dad. <laughs> if I end up half as good as them, I'll be doing all right. Let's we'll see. What part of your job do you find most rewarding and why? Well, to be honest, I find every part of my job rewarding because do you ever wake up in the morning and you think to yourself when the alarm goes off, what excuse can I give to my boss that he's going to foolishly believe so I can have a day off? Do any of you have those thoughts? <laughs> every day? Well, I used to have those thoughts, I'm sorry, because I used to work for my dad in a construction business. And every single morning when the alarm went off, I would think to myself, oh no, what can I tell him today? But the funny thing was, I could never get away with it, because if he thought I was trying to pull a fly one, he was down outside the door. Lisa, you better be out of that bed. So I'm sorry, Dad, but I think every part of my career is enjoyable and I count my blessings every single day and it's all because of each and every single one of you, so thank you. <laughs> well, I'm sure most of you know at this stage I am a huge fan of American country music and bluegrass music. And I'd love to strip things down for you this time, musically, of course. <laughs> and I'd love to invite Danny and Simon down to sing a very special song with me. Make them welcome, ladies and gents. Now, this song was a song that I recorded on my latest album, and it's a, a very special one to me, and I'm hoping that when you hear it, you'll understand why. Played a party last night for some old folks They were dancing and smiling at me Except this old man alone at a table As if there's some place that he'd rest so I said, sir, can I play something for you? Something special that you'd like to hear. When he looked up at me, he was smiling. Oh, but his eyes. Couldn't hide the tears And he said, play me the walls of the angels And I'll close my eyes and pretend So I can dance with my 
He said yes, that's a song I remember That's the one that she loved the best It was playing the night that I met her And it was playing So I can dance with my angel again Play me the waltz of the angels And I'll close my eyes and pretend So I can dance with my angel again Let me dance with my angel again Now we'd love to sing a song for you this time that we brought out only very recently and we'd love to get those hands clapping and those feet stomping and those voices singing. Come on.
so much. We're gonna take you back to where it all began for me. Let's see you sing. I'm a little bit lonely. I'm a little bit blue. Sometimes I wonder what I'm gonna do without your sweet love to see me through. I'm a little bit Okay, so this next song, ladies and gentlemen, was a song that was written by none other than Tommy Sands of the Sands family. It has been described as one of the best songs ever written about the troubles in Northern Ireland. And Tommy wrote this one in particular about two of his best friends that were sadly killed in the troubles. It touches on the sorrow and the loss suffered by so many for so many years. Pro 
Protestant and Sean was Catholic born but it never made a difference for the friendship it was strong and sometimes in the evening when we heard the sound of drums we said it won't divide us we will always be as one there were Tears of the people ran together. It was on a Sunday morning when the awful news came around. Another killing had been done just outside Newry Town. We knew. We just could not understand Now fear filled the countryside There was fear in every home and Late at night a car came Prowling round the winding road A Catholic would be killed tonight To even up the score For Christ, it's young MacDonald they are taken from the door There were roses Roses There were roses And the tears of the people Ran together Centuries of hatred have ears that do not hear. An eye for an eye, it was all that filled their minds. And another eye for another eye, till everyone was blind. Now I don't know where the moral is, or where the song should end. But I wonder just how many wars were fought between good friends And those who give the orders are not the ones to die It's Scott and young MacDonald and the likes of you and I Tears of the people ran together. There were roses, there were roses, there were roses, and the tears of the people ran together. Thank you. Well, this time we love to hear you singing along to one of our recent releases. It goes something like this. Someday I'll be living in a big old city and all you're ever gonna be is me. Yeah. Do you want to 
chuck boy calling me out when I'm wounded you You're picking on the wicked man You can take me down with just one single blow But you don't know, but you don't know So I'd love to dedicate especially to my mom and dad down there because it reminds me of days when we were walking in high cotton. Let's get those hands going, everybody. Come on. When we were walking in high cotton, old times they are not forgotten. Those fertile fields are never far away. We were walking in high cotton, old times they Leaving home was the hardest thing we ever faced We didn't know the time to leave Around our house the grass was green It didn't seem like things were all that bad I bet we walked a thousand miles Chopping cotton and pushing plows And learning how to give it all we had There's a life went on and years went by I saw the light in Daddy's eyes 
Ladies and gentlemen, do we have any Garth Briggs fans with us tonight? Let's see if you know this one. 
You know a dream is like a river Ever changing as it flows And the dream is just a soul That must follow where it goes Trying to learn from what's behind you I never know what's in store Makes each day a constant battle Just to stay between the shores And I will sail my vessel Till the river runs dry Like a bird upon the wind These waters are my sky I'll never reach my destination If I Till the river runs dry Too many times we stand aside Let the water slip away What we put up till tomorrow Has now become today So won't you sit upon the shoreline And say you're satisfied Choose to chance the rapid Like a bird upon the wind These waters are my sky I'll never reach my destination If I never try So I will sail my vessel Till the river runs dry There's bound to be rougher waters And I know I'll take some falls With the good Lord as my cat I can make it through the fall And I will sail my vessel Till the river runs dry Like a bird upon the wind These waters are my sky I'll never reach my destination If I never try So I will sail my vessel Till the river runs dry it's your turn. And I will sail. These waters are my sky. I'll never reach my destination. If I never try, so I will sail my vessel to the river runs dry. Yes, I will. Call them cool Those hearts that had no scars to show The ones they never do let go Endless the tables being turned We call them fools Who have to dance within the flame Who chants the sorrow and the shame That always comes with It's not enough just to stand outside the fire. Come on! Standing outside the fire. Standing outside the fire. Life is not trying, it is merely survived. If you're standing outside the fire.
inside the fire Life is not trying, it is merely surviving If you're standing outside the fire Send my love down to Baton Rouge Hurry up, put your foot on the line Gotta talk to the girl just one more time Oh, 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 in Baton Rouge All right, let's see you sing Oh, but we don't want you to put me on through I gotta send my love down to Baton Rouge Thank you so much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, we're coming very close to the end of our show tonight. But for those of you that are here and took the time, I appreciate so, so much. For those of you that went out of your way to ask me the questions, thank you so much for being part of tonight's show. And for those of you watching at home, this has been a true honor, and we hope to do this all very, very soon. Have you had a good time? Well, ladies and gents, I want to get you up on your feet. Let's get you shaking it with me this time. Come on, everybody. All right. Every day. 